happen? Hear that on this mic? Maybe you can. Pretty good mic, but uh, uh, the the young the young boys and uh, and uh, are uh, working hard getting some tape on the kite. You said about a meter? Yeah, about a meter. It's, it's two panels, so it's that way, that way. So two panels That's along the foot of the kite. Pretty hard to work. All right. That's what happens. Good luck, boys. Thank you, guys. That's like the uh, that's like the pit lane. Changing some tires. We're fixing the suspension arm. And uh, they'll get back out. This is a can-do crew, that's for sure. Just a minute or so, or less than a minute to go. That is the new Melgus 14. Sneak peek of a boat that no one really even knows is out there. Well, just the people in the Midwest. But let's get back to the other Melgus action. And here it is, pretty picture. With the afternoon sun shining. This is a perfect place to sail this time of year, folks. Nowhere better in the Northern Hemisphere. Sorry about that. 15 seconds to go. Race six. Envy Scooters made that sail repair in there. Um, 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 dude. Um, individual. So Samba over early, Robertissima again with the pin. It did not work last time, but Vasco Vascotto has decided that Pierre Casarigi needs to be on the pin. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's, uh, I will ask. I mean, maybe Vasco just likes the left and the ability to put the bow down. But down here we've got Torpioni, we've got Envy Scooters, who's really, really showing their stuff lately. Mama Ayuto. Uh, looks like Stig, then Inga from Sweden, then 128 Argo with a really nice start. It looks like a really great lane, and 189 uh, Volpe is punched out quite a bit to windward of Argo. So to me, those are your leaders on the course right now, probably. Although Argo falling down a little bit into Inga. And you can see uh, Pierre Casarigi just putting the bow down and letting letting the big dog eat. It's worked for him much of the week, but again, uh, we've said it over and over, he has not shown ability to battle back this week. Volpe comes around the top marker race three, or sorry, race six. This race provides the drop. These teams will drop their, their worst score after this race, shaking up the whole fleet. And this is Dalton DeVos with his dad, Dick DeVos, former gubernatorial candidate in Michigan, and a passionate racer and supporter of the sport. Volpe rounding nice and cleanly. That's Jimmy Spithill there calling tactics. And Al Culler, another good race for the Bermudan team. Stig, Alessandro Rumbelli in third. You can just see our reporter Petey in the water. Petey Crawford, videographer, just by that mark. And Denis DeMarcus putting one together, fourth place. Robertissima, overlap with Torpione. And let's see who's going for the jibe set. The jibe set's great for Petey, gets that good video. Momo going just behind the swing. And from Martina, Dougie Douglas. Fairly deep for him. He's been very consistently near the top, Doug, he has. And the Stormvogel. Here comes Argo. So Argo goes from first to maybe 11th. Uh, first in that first race and 11th. That's going to be tough for them. And Inga also deep. So it's amazing. Every single race, 
the guys in the front go to the back and vice versa. Absolutely awesome. NB scooters after that good race. Let's let's hold with them for a second and see if that kite holds together. They made that repair just before the start. We're backing down so we can go get our cameraman. And NV scooters goes into the kite. And Envy pops it around. That can be a, a kite tearing maneuver, that uh, Sambuca jibe set kind of thing. But looks like it's holding together. So the young Australians did their thing. But they're in last at the moment. Leading is Volpe. If you're just joining us, welcome back to the 2015, 14, sorry, Melgus 32 World Championship. Here in race six. Let's talk about what happened here. Stig, that's Alessandro Rumbelli. You're looking at him coming right at us right now. With Terry Hutchinson calling tactics. Very aggressively jib, jibed out the mark almost immediately. Terry saw something he liked. He sent Alessandro out to the right looking upwind. And they absolutely sent it and came in with a nice three boat length lead over Volpe who had a nice lead before. So great tactical call there to head out to that, that, uh, that, that right side looking upwind. Here's Volpe coming around with the drop, so, pretty, <coughs> excuse me, pretty even. Maybe a boat length or, or a boat length and a half for Stig. Really nice work there. And Denise DeMarcus, looks like she'll take one boat down on that run and can come around in fourth, although we'll be pretty close here with the Torpione. That's Denine over here, the only female in the fleet and a three-time Far 30 world champion. Torpione. Listen to him screaming, ooh yeah! And on the pretty much bow to bow with Deneen, and then on the other side, Hedgehog and Robertissima. Robertissima moved up a few, moved up a couple. And Mama Ayuto moved down a bunch. Who else, uh, who else we got out here? Delta. Thornvogel. Where's Argo at? Right side. Oof. So Argo's still deep, really didn't make up a single spot there. So your race leader as of this moment, based on not the scores you might be looking at on Facebook, but the actual current redress is now in 17, 16, 16, 14, 12th position. Absolutely amazing how you can go from a, a, a two minute lead the 12th place, just like that. And that's really where the parity is in this fleet. That was a horrible tack from Dougie Douglas. He stopped the boat completely, um, but obviously couldn't live in that dirt. I don't really know what that's all about. <laughs> the reality here is, folks, is that Alessandro Rambelli has just sailed a brilliant race. Absolutely brilliant. Um, boy, just jive setting at the right spot, heading up the right side, heading up in the best pressure, taking it to a full spreader length lead at the top mark. So really brilliant work from that team. You can just tell me the duck feed. And a nice set as well, in a puff. So good job there from Rombelli. And Torpione. The Italians are coming, the Italians are coming, the Italians are coming. Torpione with a 30 to 35 second deficit to the Stig. You maybe work your way a little bit back this way, Jim. And Volpe, hanging in there in third after that nice lead at the first top mark. Good job from them. 27-year-old Ryan DeVos, I think. And the Hedgehog, Alec Cutler. There's your top four. A minute around the clock. And Stig, sorry, just getting out of Petey's way. Stig has jibed away. So, um, you know, not even, I mean, just not covering, not anything, just jibing away, knowing where he wants to go. Just hear Billy Hardesty calling out the hoist. 
That's Keisuke Suzuki. Like the like the motorcycle, vroom vroom. And Robertissima in a decent spot here. Anthony DeMarcus hanging tough in fifth, I believe. Fifth or sixth. And I don't know exactly how this happened, but those guys were not doing well and they are right back in it. Lovely job from Argo. Mama Ayuto staying about the same. And Momo. What were they doing? Part two of this final top rounding of uh, race six, Mama Ayuto going high road. And look at that, uh, Argo protecting. So a little bit of a battle there. And uh, well, we'll see what happens. Here comes Envy. St guys, easy, easy, easy. Grazie. You know, bad planning. I know, but. take this opportunity to remind you that tomorrow is a three race day. Long day for us here on the mighty tender. And uh, check this thing out. That's young Matt Piste on the brand new prototype Melgus 14. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Having one, mate. All right, sorry about that. Thank you, Matty. And here's the finish. Good timing. I think the Maddie thing was a little more exciting than Stig creeping along 30 seconds ahead of their competitors, but a great race. Look at them, they are happy right there. And Terry will be in a much better mood than he was yesterday. Alessandro seems always to be in a good mood. And uh, back here, 25, 27 seconds to Torpioni, Eduardo Lupi. I asked Eduardo today what means Torpioni. He said, it's a family name, like very secretive. I said, what family? He says, Torpione. But it's not true. Volpe sticking together for the third. And I think this is, what happened to Deneen? Oh, DeMarcus lost a bunch of boats again. Very sad for her. Alec Cutler dropped one too. So Cutler comes fourth. Again, the drop race comes in now. The teams will drop their worst result. And for some of these teams, this is that result. 130 from the first finisher. And swing. Keisuke, Ke Keisuke Suzuki. I like that name a lot. Now I'm going to say it all the time. Thanks, Mal Parker, for correcting me. We don't like to pronounce names wrong, and we'd love to be corrected. Oh, I'm going to say it all the time now. Keisuke. Danin DeMarcus crossing a bevy of boats, four locked in together there with Robertissima leading on their way down. Thanks to Roberto for watching all week as well. We had a little chat with Roberto. DeMarcus crosses the line. This morning in Roberto, whoa, look at that. Oh, he's got it. that's right, it's a duck. That's what's going on. These boats don't duck well. You just gotta let that kite go. That's gonna be very costly for Robertissima. Look at him now. Now they gotta get going. Now they got to duck again. Whoa! Robert Tisame is losing boats, losing boats. One, two, three boats, losing boats. Are they gonna be able to get it back here? They have to, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. Because the Delta's never gonna let them go. Does Robert Tisame have enough to jive? Okay, Momo's coming in. Do they have enough to jive? They don't. They're locked out here. They'll have to get room, but one, two. So they get passed by Argo and by Momo. And this is a big deal right here, guys. Robert T. Simon Argo, first and second in the fleet. And right now they're crossing the line, overlapped, and Robert T. Simon losing two boats there because of that duck. So they lined up on the port, tack, or port jibe, and that really hurt Dougie Douglas having a bad one, and he's gonna have to eat that because Dougie's got a DSQ. So Dougie Douglas may have taken himself out with this finish. And Mama Ayuto doing a penalty turn 
and they'll have to go and do that and cross the line dead last. Your leader after first day and third place today, and they are trickling across the line just behind the second place or third place boat today, Inga from Sweden. This is unbelievable, Stefano. Or is this amazing or what? I mean, and here they're gonna do another circle. Well, you might as well, right? Oh, absolutely brutal. There you have it, that's it. Definitely another exciting day for us out on the water, just off Miami Beach. I'm here with Stefano Bareggi, class, class secretariat and Melgus right. Europe guy. What do you think about racing no, here in Miami, bus, brother? The D-ring. Good race, no? Yeah. But uh, the there's no, right the no dominator, bus. so it's very open. There's definitely yeah. no there dominating, no. and no. it's super tight yeah. at the top. Well, look, you're doing a great job here. A little news for you guys. Uh, the protest we heard radioed in was Volpe protesting Robertissima. So obviously a big deal when you start to do, deal with the leading boats getting protested. But again, big shakeups here. Robertissima, a really bad race there. Uh, that last half of that last leg was super brutal for a few boats. And, um, and the one who really came out ahead there was Argo. And they're going to take a two point, I think a two or two, two, three, two or three point lead going into day four. Anyway, thank you for watching and check back on Facebook in a little while. We'll make sure we get the full HD clips of this these two races up for you. It just takes a bit because they're fairly big files. And then of course, check out our day three highlight reel early tomorrow morning. Thanks again for watching and please share this with all your friends. We'll see you tomorrow.